Oh, there's a big fat Porsche convertible behind me trying to get past him. Yeah, he's probably got a tiny penis he has to uh, compensate for. Need my dust focus. I welcome you to a beautiful spring day in March 2023. Time for a road trip it's from my home in Porto to a town called Trancoso, which is way deep in the heart of Portugal. Yeah, silly person. Uh, I don't know if you saw that. The car braked on the motorway to let someone else in. You should never do that. So I've got my trip computer on and it says 6.3. Just went to 6.3 because I'm going up here. I'm not expecting a great average today. I don't know if I'm going to bother with the average because I'm sort of late. suspension mode if I'm not mistaken it cuts out the center sphere uh, in the front and the rear I think we've got six spheres and I, I do forget these things I hardly ever go around in sports mode not for any particular reason but if it cuts out the center sphere that means I'm only using four spheres and if I paid for six by golly I'm going to use them mountains up there there's a very interesting hiking trail very beautiful I do recommend it heartedly I think it's AMT PR3 the code if you want to look it up on the internet well worth it and into the tunnel we go And 
What was amazing about the CX, among other things, many other things, was how refined it was compared to other cars. I just remember that, how, how comfortable and how isolated you felt inside from the outside world. And that's sort of like, that's why I am how I am. That's why I like Citroen so much and I appreciate comfort and quiet over performance and hard cornering. It's all down to the CX. I think probably the CX is the best car ever made, in my humble opinion. I mean, it's an evolution of the DS, which is brilliant in itself, but it's excellent, even if it does rust like a, a, a screw left out in the rain. But yeah, that's a f phenomenal car. And I'd like to have one, but yeah, maybe one day, right, when, I'm, when I'm wealthier. I'd love to have a CX Safari because that was the car my dad had. I, I'm, I'm so used to that car that I think that was the norm. You know, the trigger door handles, the rotating dials, the drums, instead of, you know, your regular uh, dial-shaped speedometer. Everything about that car was brilliant. Yeah, time to stop for a wee in just a minute. Just got some chocolate as well. Chewing gum, because chewing gum is awesome. I, I love chocolate. Very important to keep hydrated on the move. It's important to keep hydrated anyway. Enough talk, I've got to get moving. I've still got about 150 kilometers to go. Oh God. Time is not on my side, basically. Satnav says I'm gonna be 20 minutes late. That is not cool. Need my dust focus. The last Laguna. That was a shame. That could have been an excellent car. But it just turned out ugly. And I just found out a couple of months ago that the um, car was actually going to be a lot more prettier. But then the new head of um, Renault stepped in, you know, Carlos Go, who now is a wanted fugitive but he stepped in and thought no I've got to leave my mark on the car so he changed it and made it a lot uglier and the car I think was such a flop that the Laguna name was dropped and that's when they brought in the talisman. Yeah.